Hey guys, this is your reading for the full moon in Sagittarius, which is also a lunar eclipse. So very excited, very strong energy coming in for us. Um, in this video, you're just going to get the message from Spirit and see what they have to say for you. I like to read the energy of the cards and really kind of help you navigate the energy that's happening. So if you haven't been here before, welcome. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified and the little bell notification to get notified when I have new readings up. And let's see what we have going on here. Also, for those of you that have been following me for a while or for those of you that are new, I do have my 21 Days to Accelerating Your Confidence course starting on June 1st. So if you want to spend 20 days with me really learning how to let go of needing validation from other people, let go of caring about what other people think of you and really step into your truth and who you are and accept yourself unapologetically uh, for yourself. So you can find that link down below in the description box. All right, let's see what is happening. So love the overall energy. So the overall energy for this full moon is the magician. So this is about belief for me. This is about believing that you can have anything that you want. And it's about letting go of all the crap, all of the negative thinking, all of the negative beliefs that you have, all the past traumas that you've been through in order to get to the space of believing in yourself, believing that you can obtain abundance in this lifetime. And you've got the strength card, you've got the unknown card, and you've got the page of swords. So for some of you here, you know, it's about getting this, the strength, but also getting the courage even if you don't know what you want to manifest, even though, because I work with a lot of women who, you know, when I ask like, well, what do you want to get out of working together? And they tell me they don't really know what they want, but they know what they don't want. It's like, stop, you know, needing validation. It's stop, you know, giving themselves to other people and leaving nothing for themselves. So even if you don't know what it is that you want to bring into your life, it's about finding your strength and finding your courage to set the boundaries with people around you. So if you are an overgiver or a people pleaser or just wear your heart on your sleeve, it's about learning how to set boundaries and learning that you are worthy enough of setting these boundaries so that when people try to overstep them, you can correct them. And then of course, if they keep doing that, then you leave the relationship. And again, not just romantic relationships, but family and friends. So with this full moon, it's about stepping into your power and letting go of the people that don't accept you for you. We've got the temperance card, the fool, and the star. So again here, I just feel like it's about finding peace. It's about looking at the positive side of things. It's about taking the leap of faith and trusting in the universe, trusting in your ability to see the light, your ability to shine. A lot of people have been dimming your light, people that you interact with, people that, you know, make you get up all up in your head. It's like they're dimming your light. So now it's time to take the leap of faith, follow that intuition, follow the calling that you're having, whatever you're trying to manifest here, like follow it. And again, like I said in the beginning, very strong energy around letting go of negative limiting beliefs that you have about yourself. Okay, I have my book coming out in June, so be prepared for that. It's going to teach you all about energy and how to manifest with your energy as well. So let all that negative stuff go because it's like you are a powerhouse and it's time to step into that. A lot of you have been hiding is what I feel. And I feel like this moon is going to bring, bring you to light. Like there is no hiding anymore. You got to step into the light because it's, it's time for that. You've got the three of pentacles. You've got the Queen of Cups and you've got the Two of Cups. So when you do this, like you're going to be putting the work in. So this could be doing the inner work. This could be healing. This could be releasing the energy. This could be working on your mindset, you know, releasing those limiting beliefs as well. But also like to, to open your heart chakra here with the Queen of Cups and really live your life with love. Um, they're just They're just showing me a lot of negative energy, a lot of like being in that victim mentality, being in the complaining and always looking at the negative side of things. And this full moon here is, is going to like literally tear that to shreds. It's, it's not going to be capable anymore. And this might feel a little uncomfortable, 
for a lot of you because that negativity is your comfort zone. But it's going to, like, I, I feel like you, it's just pulling you guys towards the light. So especially you can see right here, this beautiful light, the full moon on both of these cards. Like, this is your path. This is where you need to be. And the Two of Cups, this is a relationship for me. Um, a lot of the times I like to say the Two of Cups is your relationship with yourself and also your higher self. So I feel as though your higher self, the one that's connected to the universal energy, which I explain more in your book, in my book, but it's going to be bringing you towards their energy, towards your higher self's energy, no longer allowing you to hide, no longer allowing you to, you know, be in the dark. It's going to be bringing you to light. So get prepared, get excited for that, because then you've got the King of Wands. This is, again, manifesting, going after what you want. But it's about breaking the old habits, breaking the old cycles of, you know, doing a little bit, getting so far, but then coming backwards. There's no more of that. It's time to end that is what I'm getting. Beautiful, powerful reading here with this lunar eclipse. So use this energy. Please remember that the full moon energy is good three days prior, three days after. So, you know, if you're in my Reiki Vault membership, go ahead and do one of those full moon uh, rituals so that you can release and write down all the things that this new this full moon can really bring up for you and as far as full moons like you want to write down stuff that you're going to let go of and then burn it so please do that safely <laughs> but yes totally um releasing letting it go and especially with this lunar eclipse the energy of it is going to be that much more potent to be able to just let go and it says steady process and we have taking a stand, which I've been saying this whole time, is owning who you are, not worrying about what other people think. And you've got the emperor here, masculine influence power. So again, there's so much power in this reading. And I'm just going to call you guys out on this, okay? Because I know that this is the way it works. Some of you are going to just go to the next video and be like, oh, that was a good reading. Maybe not. Maybe it was a bad reading for you, but maybe it didn't resonate, but... Some of you are just going to move on to the next video. For those of you that really want change in your life, this is about taking this seriously. It's about feeling that power that is within you, okay? It's about stepping up for yourself here, taking the stand. That stand might be against other people. It might be against family members that don't agree with what you're doing. It might be against partners. It might be against friends. Right? And then look at what look what the card came out. What can I do to make a difference? So a lot of you are feeling this calling right now to fulfill your life purpose. And that purpose can be anything. It could be anything. Usually it's about serving other people in some kind of way. So however that is, if you want to bake to make people happy, if you want to coach to make people happy, if you want to, you know, share your experiences, if you want to be an author. Whatever that is, what can I do to make a difference? And the back of this card says, what keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it, such that every ounce of you screams, no more? Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Today's soul action, make a difference in someone's life today, big or small, because all of it makes a difference. We're here to help each other. We're here to inspire each other. We're here to lift each other up. And a lot of the times, especially in the coaching industry, which I am in, we take our pain. A lot of our, a lot of the light workers, right? Tarot card readers, psychic, mediums, healers, um, even just life coaches. We take the pain that we have been through and we use that to spread the lessons that we've learned so that other people don't have to go through that. And like I said, manifestation. So what is it? Get out of your dead end job, you know, start making the shift, do something that lights you up, take the leap of faith here. This full moon is calling you out. I'm feeling about two to three months from this full moon is really when you're going to start to see things come together. If you start putting the action steps, if you are the person that is listening and is going to take action on this reading instead of just moving on to the next one. So some of you will move on to the next one and, and you'll let this go. We all have free will. But for those of you that are serious about moving forward and really stepping into your power and stepping into your truth and sharing these messages to others, it's time to start taking the steps. 
let your intuition follow, uh, guide you. Okay. That's what happened with me. This YouTube channel. I have no idea how I created this. It just was like one night done. I wasn't even thinking about doing it. It just happened. Let your intuition guide you through the steps of finding your purpose of finding the message of how to do it, what platforms to use all of these different things. Okay. Let your intuition guide you. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you are interested in boosting your confidence in order to let this happen and you know let your intuition guide you and stay, take this leap of faith, I am here to support you with that. Um, it's an amazing course. It's a mix of healings and lessons and action steps. So if you're ready to really shine and really step into your power and let all that other crap go, stop needing validation from other people, I would love to have you in there. You can find the link down below in the description box, but this is beautiful. There's so much powerful energy in this reading. It's really this relationship here is about connecting to yourself, connecting to your higher self and really letting your intuition guide you. And when that happens, you feel so in alignment, so peaceful, so blissful, and it just feels like everything is just okay in this world. So I hope that resonates with you. Have a wonderful full moon. Please remember to hit the subscribe. And if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment and let me know which part of this stood out to you the most. All right, much love and I will see you soon. Bye.